Today I will be reviewing the color Sepam sets and this is what I'll be painting. I'll be painting a candy. Hoy voy a estar haciendo un review de estos sets de color Sepam y voy a estar pintando este dulce aquí. Pues que creen se despintaron mis uñas y los pinté para este video pero ya están todas despintadas y pues así estamos hoy. So today I painted my nails for this video, but then throughout the day they kind of just wore off because I did a bunch of things. And here's another video with some pretty crappy nails. <laughs> the first color that I will be using is emerald. El primer color que voy a estar usando es emerald. And I'm doing this uh, first layer with their matte set of watercolors. And this is just a base coat and then after that I'll be adding um, the metallic colors. And the second color that I will be using is Aquamar. El segundo color que voy a estar usando es Aquamar y este color va a ser para que le dé un poco de color abajo de donde están las sombras. And this color I will be using so I could add a little bit of color just where the shadows are just because everything is going to be so bright and I don't want the bottom half of this painting to be so dark. So I'm just adding this nice beautiful blue in there. And this other blue that I am adding right now, it is Royal Blue. Este otro color que estoy poniendo aquí para la sombra es Royal Blue. Ahora que ya tengo un poco de tiempo usando estas acuarelas, me está cantando. Um, son bien vibrantes los colores. Me encanta este set. No tengo tanto malo que decir, pero que están bien chidos. <laughs> And now that I've been painting for a while now with these watercolors, I'm really loving them. I don't have anything bad to say about them. Uh, they're very pigmented, they're opaque, they lay down very well onto the um, paper, and they blend very well. Um, yeah, they're very great watercolors to have. I don't have any colors like these in my other sets of watercolors, so I'm really loving them. And this color that I am using right now, it is the color Banana. And this is where I'll be using it. I probably should have used the yellow before the blue. But I think I just got ahead of myself, but it still works out. And for the cap of the candy, I'll be using the color Carmen. And because this color is very pigmented, I do have to add more water to my brush than I usually do. Okay, now we'll be using the watercolor set of 24 metallics. 
and the first color that we'll be using for that part is the key lime and then we'll be using also the color olive green and then also palmer and we'll be using it for this section of the um, candy and while I was doing this painting I was sort of in my train of thought that I don't have the colors that I need in this metallic set to make it look like the exact candy color that is on there that I'm seeing and then I had to go back and rethink I was like but that's not the purpose of this sketch that I'm doing right now the purpose of the sketch is to be able to have fun with the colors and make something totally different than what I already do and learn from that so I had to kind of rethink my process of how I was gonna um, paint this candy and then I was just choosing the pick colors that I thought would look good together instead of trying to make it look identical to the colors that I was seeing in real life so I'm really happy that these colors that I have in this set really brought me to think differently about my palette and not limit myself to what I see in reality but to try different colors and try combining different colors like I would normally do in a study Casi en la cámara aquí no se alcanza a ver los brillos, pero en realidad um, estos colores son muy brillosos y muy vibrantes. Um, se cubre todo la parte que quieres uh, con estos brillos. Um, la verdad son mágicos. Los efectos son como algo que nunca ha visto. Me están cantando. So as you can see right here, I am lifting off a little bit of that pigment right there so I could create a bit of a highlight. And if that's what you're looking for in watercolors, these watercolors do do that if you want that sort of effect. Cuando estás pintando con estos colores metálicos notan que estos colores son muy suaves y no están pedajosos y tampoco no se quedan como en bola el pigmento cuando estás pintando. So me están encantando los efectos que me está dando, no como otros um, colores que como quedan como en bola. 
porque tienen esos brillitos. I think the hardest part about this painting was trying to go into those little crooks and crannies. I think that's how you see that um, of this painting where I'm doing the letters right here. But because these metallic watercolors are very smooth, it wasn't as difficult as they would be. I know I've said it a bunch of times, but I am loving the results that I am getting with these metallic watercolors. They dry very fast and also I'm loving the way that they dry because I know that some metallic watercolors, they halfway dry and then the shimmer gets onto like the surface of whatever you like touch it with on accident and then like it just gets on your fingers and it can get a little bit messy as well because it just doesn't dry nicely and also it sort of creates like this bulkiness onto the paper as well uh, but these watercolors they lay down so smoothly and you're able to mix um, the colors as well and the dry time is great they are fantastic As I was reviewing these watercolors, I was also learning a lot while I was painting with them because they are completely different from my original palette and what I normally paint. Uh, these watercolors are definitely fantastic. Both sets are amazing. I think you can do so much with them and they are so different from other palettes. And I think that that was the purpose for this palette was to create something very different and unique from other brands of watercolors. Um, you won't see colors like these in other ordinary pan sets um, because these colors are very unique. They're very vibrant. You're gonna get a whole different style in your painting than what you usually get from your ordinary palette sets. Like when I was creating this painting, I usually don't do paintings like these and the colors that I was picking and choosing was so different from what I would pick in my um, original palette that I have uh, and I was just having a blast with this like my style completely changed and I was able to create a different type of um, piece to this because of the palette and I think that's great about this palette is that when you change um, your palette often you can create a whole different type of style to your paintings and sometimes you need a break from uh, just your original your usual palette sets and this one when you use this palette you're having fun you're creating something new and you learn to it something totally different from your original paintings and you can bring whatever you learned with this palette you can bring it to your original palette sets that you would paint with and I think that's really great about this palette is that it's so different than what I already have and I'm having so much fun just using this and taking a break from you know my usual watercolors that I have and I'm just creating something totally different and just having fun with it and playing around with the colors and I think that's very important to do as an artist so um, I definitely and highly recommend this set um, go check them out
pues estos son el resultado que agarré con estos sets de color Sepam. Espero que les haya gustado este video y te veo cuando te veo. So this is the result that I got with these amazing watercolors. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you when I see you.